poker is a game where you constantly, and, and this really applies to business, where you have to constantly be evaluating yourself and your strategy as it relates to your opponent's strategy. And that kind of fluidity and um, sort of attention that you have to pay to those things, I think really apply in business. There, there are so many businesses out there that find a market niche or come up with um, some type of an exploitable strategy maybe on Wall Street and then that exploit you know, or that niche goes away. Um, and so there are kind of two things. I think you have to recognize A, that you have to constantly um, sort of evaluate your, your sort of your, your position in whatever business you're in or, or, or in poker and be willing to change things. Um, you know, you either adapt or die. Um, and potentially sort of get out of a situation. I, I've certainly, you know, played in some games where I felt like I had a nice advantage, and then you know what? The game changed. The game got tougher, um, uh, and you have to be willing to accept that. Well, maybe I should be playing some of these other games. And I think it's the same thing in business, and and, and in particular on Wall Street. I mean, we're just there are just so many strategies that were winning strategies, and 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 again, what happens is the manager makes a lot of money for a bunch of years and just drives the strategy right into the dirt as as those ex you know as those edges go away and the market adjusts to what they're doing um, you know i i i think people on wall street tend to and and i think there's actually evidence of this tend to not be as self-critical as poker players um, i was talking to a woman i, I i'm, I'm going to say it was nor it was northwestern um, but she had done uh, studies uh, with business, I mean, various types of people, you know, lawyers, business people, Wall Street types, and poker players. She had done some poker player um, sort of analysis. And she just had a simple um, kind of questionnaire, you know, and she would ask people a question, you know, just typical, you know, things like, um, you know, how many people do you think are Muslim in the world or something like that. And then ask people their response followed by their confidence level that they were right. And she just found that poker players were actually the, the number one scoring group, not necessarily for getting it right, but for having a, a, a reasonable expectation and actually having it match up to reality. And that possibly one of the worst groups she had were Wall Street traders, who were just so overconfident it was ridiculous compared to the quality of their answers. You know, and I think poker play, you know, playing poker and trying to become a professional poker player breeds that sort of self-skepticism. Uh, willingness to question yourself and try and make yourself better.